And I'm no longer letting my ex borrow the car because I don't know what it is, but every time I leave the country, he runs into some troubles, whether they're legit or not. And, you know, it was a good source of income, the extra 400 a month, but as soon as I left the country, I stopped seeing it. So, you know, but I had a good camp day uh, yesterday. Pretty decent camp day. And I also had a client offer to get me a hotel for Valentine's Day so I could do all the shows I need to do but like on one hand I'm so grateful because nobody has to do that for you and that would be a really great day you know cam girl holiday valentine's day is the day I didn't get to work last year but at the same time I don't want to only depend on shows I want to I know it'll be a good day regardless but I also know that like I'm looking at this lizard doing that throat thing He's like, bitch, some privacy. <laughs> I appreciate the offer 100% because that would give me more privacy and it is a great opportunity. And I don't want to seem ungrateful. Oh, party bus. I don't want to seem ungrateful for a gift, but I also don't want this pressure of like, okay, you have to, you know, I don't know. I can't. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna shut up about my digital work. But um, yeah, this is the day. We go on the Williams side. As usual, the whole vlog was blah, 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 blah. I'm doing pretty good. I'm really proud of myself because I'm getting by. And I had this like, you know, some people have this, like, I gotta wait till the right moment, etc. Like I gotta do this. And I think that's amazing. Do what you need to do. Put yourself in the most potentially successful position possible before you make a jump like this. For me, I did not realize I was doing this till like a month or two before and I was leaving a very toxic relationship. I could have gotten another apartment, but it would have been the same cycle of like struggling to afford the apartment and then not traveling and then not living the life I wanted to live. So I was like, if I'm gonna struggle, I'm gonna struggle somewhere else, baby. And I'm actually doing good. I had like $400 of bills come out of my account between still paying off my car, some Christmas gifts I was still paying off, some uh, financing for the tickets I booked and everything like that. I have 400 come out of my account and I'm still good and I'm about to go get some groceries. And you know, so I feel like I'm doing good. And I'm so, 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 so grateful to the people still showing love, still tipping, still showing support. Like, ooh, oh man. If no one got me, I got me. And that's the beautiful thing about it. People do got me, so you know, I'm excited. I mean, I think I just took this risk like early. I believe in it. I believe in it. And it's the same struggle that would have been at home, but it's better here. I'm not paying no utilities. I ain't paying no Wi-Fi bill. I ain't paying no washer and dryer bill. Like, if anything, I think I've been, I, I can actually see my money out here. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like I have the ability to save and really start living the life I want to live. I don't know. It was one of those things, like, if not now, when? And yeah, I could have taken a year and did this and but the way life worked out, I really decided to do this last minute and I'm not mad at it. And now we just surfing the wave, baby. <laughs> but I'm good. I'm gonna um head out with my friend and go get groceries. Very much blessed. Very much oh, so blessed, baby. Like life is good. I think the human experience is a very beautiful and fascinating thing. Sometimes brutal, yes, but beautiful nonetheless. Cause I had a friend and he was talking about, he's been here for months. <laughs> Y'all thought I was staying long. He's been here for a minute. And he was talking about like, yeah, you know, when you first experience something, it's, oh my gosh, like what, wow. And then he's like, slowly as you get used to stuff, you kind of have this like, all right. And I think that's what happens. Maybe people who get all that money and collect all these experiences, get to a point where it's like all right yeah i've been there done that but i think the beautiful thing is when you really learn how to find joy in the simple things when you go sit outside with your little smoothie in your book and you're just grateful for the day i really think that's where the true beauty comes in because yeah you can have experienced that five times ten times fifteen times but your perspective on how you treat that moment i think is the most important you know what i'm saying like yeah you saw 10 and i get it i get it like as creatures of curiosity we get bored easily but i don't know like i still remember i was sitting my ass at home talking about something i want to be outside and now i'm outside and i'm, I'm just grateful I'm, it feels good outside let me tell you also i found out the thing i was going through was a heat rash i'm over here thinking i'm dying <laughs> That's how you know I need to take my ass outside. I was like, I'm covered in bumps. Like, I look like an avocado, bitch. It's the sign. <laughs> but anyways, I will see y'all.
Bye. I also want to say that I feel like that is also an exciting part of the journey because once you have everything, I feel like you get desensitized to like desire. You know what I mean? How you gonna desire anything if you have everything? What's gonna fuel you? Okay, your girl went ahead and put on her finishing touches. Got my little lashes on or whatever. Whew, we about to head out, y'all. Okay, I'm excited to just get some groceries. Oh my gosh. And after I get all my dental work done back home, I really got to swear off juices and candy and all that because mm -mm. I have to go back home and handle something. I should have been handled. Otherwise, I would have just kept it moving. But yep, I go on to dinner tonight because it's my friend's last night. Excited for that. And this series really is just a behind the scenes. To be honest, like my travel channel is where you can find out all the information. This is for the people who are like, how are you doing it? Like, what did you do? Like, you know, all the behind the scenes stories and stuff. <laughs>